Alright, so the moon of a planet is observed to have a nearly circular orbit, r equals 4 times 10 to the 5th kilometers, and an orbital period of 21.5 days. What is the mass of this planet? Alright, so to begin, let's draw a diagram uh, to help us visualize what the heck is going on. And this is our center, and that's our r. Alright, so let's have this plan to be blue. Okay. So this is r for times 10 to the fifth kilometers. And our period, which is also p equals t, and it is 21.5 days. All right. So picture this diagram as in bird eye, bird eye, bird eye view. Okay. Uh, this planet is orbiting, and this moon is orbiting this planet. Um, and okay. So. Uh, we've, we've gotten our diagram. Let's set up an equation. All right. So what do we know? We know that there seems to be mm, there seems to be gravity, a uh, force of gravity to in, to allow this moon to orbit uh, this planet. So this planet is providing a uh, gravitational pull that allows this planet to orbit orbit around. So we have force of gravity. In this case, it's not mg. Uh, it's not 9.8. Okay, we're dealing in space. Uh, equals uh, all right. and just to make sure uh, your f FG equals your G times M1 times M2 over R2 R is the distance between M1 Planet, so M1. Let's call. Let's just call. Uh, let's call it M1 uh, the planet and M2 as my moon. Okay. So, R is, is basically from here to here. All right. All right. So we know FG. Now, back to what I was saying. Uh, FG is the force and it appears to be in it if you look at it from the moon's perspective you will see that um, there is a pull that okay the the planet is providing a gravitational pull and this pull is uh, pointing we could say it's pointing towards the planet from the moon's perspective because uh, you could s from the moon's perspective the f uh, the uh, centripetal force is your uh, force of gravity because your for the force of gravity mm, is pointing towards or to your center and this center is the planet okay so we said the centripetal force equals your force of gravity because it is pointing towards to center okay all right so let's set it's going to be g times m1 times m2 divided by r square equals all right. So the centripetal force is m times v squared over r. Okay. All right. So from here we can uh, we can divide and let's set this as one for now because it's a planet. It's the, the looking. It's the uh, it's the, it's the planet, not the moon. All right. All right. So we can uh, go ahead and cross. We can go ahead and cross M one out. M one out. And we can cross R and R, and we would get G M two. Now M two uh, is your moon. Right, but R equals your V squared. All right. Okay. Well, so we, we've hit a problem here. We don't know what's V at all. But however, we can calculate V. By calculating V, uh, we have to use another equation. This equation is uh, your 
centripetal velocity. I think it's what, I think that's what it's called. But your centripetal velocity is two pi over your period. Or let's make it t. All right, that's that's your centripetal velocity. All right. So we know r 4.0 times 10 to the fifth kilometers, and t is 21.5 days. All right. So V equals, well, let's make it over here. Um, this right here. VC equals 2 pi times 4 times 10 to the 8 over. 21.5 times 24 times 60 times 60. So you might be wondering, hey, hey Chris, why isn't, uh, why didn't you say 4 times 10 to the 5th, and why isn't it 2.5? Well, it's because, look here, it's kilometers, and this is days, and we should always remember to convert that to seconds, meters, and kilograms because that's our standard that's how we solve these equations is we use those three kilograms uh, kilograms seconds and meters so to convert kilograms to meters you just simply just add uh, add three to uh, the power the power th add three there uh, power three add to power five you can do eight and to convert days to seconds is from days times 24 uh, which is number of hours times 60 minutes times 60 again for seconds okay and you should get and you should get his interpretive velocity as 1,352.97 all right so we so we solved for v now we can plug in v over here all right so let's make it another color so we've gotten G, which is, you should always know that G is 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 11 times M2 over here, 4 times 10 to the 8 equals uh, this. <laughs> Have no more room, no more space. Whoa. This squared. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about it. Sorry about that. No space. And what we have to do is we would multiply, multiply this over, divide this, and you get mass. So it should look like M2 equals. One thousand three hundred fifty two point seven squared times four times six times eight to the times ten to the eighth power over six point six seven times ten to the negative eleven. And your answer should be one point zero eight nine times ten to twenty fifth. And that's how you solve for the mass of the planet. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, what I said earlier about M1, about crossing M1, M2. <laughs> uh, now I was instead, instead is I'm crossing out uh, the the moon, <laughs> the moon, not not the planet, because I just I just remember that we're trying to find the planet's mass, not the moon's mass. So sorry about that. M2, M2 equals planet M1 equals moon so we can cancel out m1 sorry about that hope i didn't confuse you